Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time. We did it, dude! That was awesome! You did it! Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds, and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag! Congratulations! Quickly! Now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do... We've got him! We've got the Dragonborn! Dragonborn? What the... Who, what? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back! Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin. Why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all. Just get me safely out of here. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes. And that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kenny was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see... When humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. 
And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Princess Kitty, come back here! Welcome. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. enough guys already. Ich 
Hit them with the zombie vomit! Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is a pretty sick boss fight. Mm. 
Fight for a demon, hey! Use your Hide. rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! No! I think all the dying is making her tired. Keep killing her. Hit them with the zombie vomit. Princess Kinney, call upon your beautiful Nazi unicorn! Shit, stupid fucking unicorn! This will be my greatest performance. My sword hand's got a cramp. I need a minute. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Yes, you've been Fight for the demon, hide! Fight the fire! Hit them with the zombie vomit! Fight for the demon, hide! Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Kinney! She doesn't stay dead. We can't beat her. Two, we're fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code. What? Carmen, you can't possibly need. What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you to break that oath. Right, it's our only chance. Start on Princess Kitty's balls, King Douchebag! Do it! Now, King Douchebag, start on Princess Kitty's balls! What about the gentleman's oath? Come on, new kid, finish her off! You fools! Princess Kinney controls the universe! Fight for a demon, hide! What? We're back to normal. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all.
guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick.
Man hat uns betrogen. Der Frieden, wie wir ihn einst kannten, lag in tausend Scherben. Erst kamen die Kobolde, dann die Unterhosenwichtel, Vampirkinder, Hippies, Krebsmenschen. Wir brauchen einen Erlöser, der alles Geschehene ungeschehen machen kann. 